Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back for more Bomberman Hero. In the last episode, we finished up Area 2 of Planet Primus, and in this episode, we're going to be finishing up this planet by completing Area 3, the Clock Tower. And we're going to be starting up the first level of this area right now, the Killer Gate. Let's go! And look at this, ladies and gentlemen, we are starting off this episode with a brand new transformation. The Bomber Copter. Oh my goodness, if I have to rate all these power-ups that we currently have so far, it's the Bomber Jet, then the Bomber Copter, and then the Bomber Marine. We still have yet to see one more transformation in this game, and we'll be getting to that in a little bit later, not in this episode in particular, but a little bit later in the series. But, look at how awesome Bomberman just goes into that Bomber Copter form. We are just on a roll! Let's get started, I am so pumped. I also love the music in this level, by the way. To open the killer gate, you have to destroy the 10 submarines. Not too shabby. So to control the bomber copter, you hold down the A button to ascend to the air, and you release it to descend. If you hold down the R button, or if you press the R button, you can release bombs, but if you hold it down long enough, you can release more bombs at once. Now the objective of this level is to destroy these submarines. This could be a little bit difficult if you don't have that good death perception, because here is kind of where it shines by not having that good death perception. You're going to want to shoot these uh, submarines kind of low because if you shoot them too high, you're not going to really reach them into the air that often. And as per usual, we're just going to destroy everything in our path here and get all the points that we can to get everything that we can to get the perfect score. Make sure to get everything on top of these pillars if there's anything. And we're just going to have to do what we usually do. Just kill everything in our sight. And I love this bomber copter. It's so freaking awesome. Alright, let's just go ahead and just kill that submarine off. Not bad at all. And now we need to collect this gem here. Very, very nice. Like I said, I love the music in this level. It's one of my favorite tracks in the game. If I can... With all the tracks that there are in this game, which there aren't that many. Um, if you guys couldn't tell already, they kind of reuse a lot of the same songs throughout the levels. And, but, for the most part, I really do enjoy this one quite a bit. Is there anything that I've missed at the top here? As you can see in the distance, there's an Adok bomb we're going to need to collect, so we'll have to be sure to do that when we get that close. Anyway, I took some damage here. Not too bad, though. Oh, I took more damage! That's pretty cool, I guess. Alright, let's just go ahead and kill this stupid submarine. Because no one likes them at all, do we? Not really. Not in particular. Nope. I'm going to have to go back a little bit in a second here to make sure I get everything, because I don't want to miss anything. That would be really, 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 really bad. Let's just go back a little bit. Uh, did I forget anything? Probably not. Alright, let's just keep on moving forward. I, I really don't even know how many submarines I've killed so far. But uh, we should be close to our goal, right? And we got the Adoc Bomb, so there we go. We need one more to finish off this planet with all the Adoc Bombs in it. I'm not going to explain what the Adoc Bombs are for just yet. I will probably wait until the end of the series to tell you guys what they're for. Because I'm telling you, you're going to want to collect them, but it's a cool little little cool reward once you get them all. And for those of you who've played this game before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Alright, let's just go ahead and just kill everything. And There's so much projectiles just killing me. It's kind of crazy. Alrighty, so let's just go ahead and kill this submarine. I believe this is the last one. And if so, that would be kind of nice. However, if it's not, then I mean, it's not totally the end of the world yet. And once you hear that little sound, that means you've killed them all, which is very, very nice. However, I'm just going to kill all these enemies, and I believe this level requires 4,000 points. Hopefully I'm correct on this. So let's just go ahead and exit the level and see if we're correct. And I am. Nice. I did it! Alright, now Spiral Tower. Oh, I love this level. This level's so cool. Alright, so this kind of reminds me of Mario 64 in the um, uh, Womp's Fortress when you're climbing up the Spiral Tower in that game. It's kind of like the same thing, except this whole level is just climbing the Spiral Tower. And this level is not even that long either, so we'll be here pretty quickly. Well, we'll be done with this pretty quickly. However, we want to go over here really quick because there's a bunch of stuff we can get on the side of this. And you don't want to miss any of that because if you do, you're going to be kind of sad. Like an extra life over here, and some gems that you're going to need. It's all fun. It's all a good time. And there we go. We're at the end of that nonsense. And more bombs. We can use those, right? And there's also enemies we're going to want to kill. Make sure you just get the overall perimeter of this area before you start climbing. Because 
You don't want to be that guy that just misses all the points randomly because you miss some enemies. And now that we've completed all the perimeter, let's just start climbing up the tower. There's going to be a bunch of spikes coming out everywhere, so be warned for those. And, as always, just kill everything, as I've mentioned like a thousand times in this LP. Alright, so there's more spikes. There's a heart up here, which is very much welcome, because I took so much damage, I believe, in the last uh, level of this area. Alright. Yep, I figured there would be spikes right there, too. Also, uh, if you, you're going to want to keep watch out in the distance. There's going to be a place we're going to want to jump on a cloud or something, or a platform. So definitely, if you see that, keep that in mind. Like, there's a uh, there's the exit here. However, there's places over here to jump to as well. So you're going to want to... Oh, I just made it too. Nice. Let's go ahead and drop a bomb here. To activate... Oh my goodness, I... Of course I would drop all the way down. Eh, it doesn't take that long to climb back, but, yeah, climb back up, especially if you're not collecting anything while you're trying to get up here. So let's just go ahead and just climb back up again. It's not too bad. I could spend a little time doing that. I don't need to cut away for every little thing that I mess up on. Only if I'm, like, really far into a level, then I die, and then I have to redo all of it. It's just not a fun time, especially if you spend, like, a lot of time getting there, too. Alright, let's just keep on moving. Let's just kill all these enemies here. I believe there's an Adok bomb in this level. I could be wrong, though. Ooh, over here. I forgot there was this. This is what I was talking about. There's a bunch of gems over here you're going to want to collect, so keep that in mind. Alright, so if we get to the top, yep, there's the Adok bomb that I was talking about. Alright, I think you're going to want 3,000 points for this level now that I'm thinking about it. There's the Adok bomb, and I believe, yep, we have all of them in this freaking planet. So now all we need to do now is get to the end. And I don't even care about taking damage at this point, because we're pretty much right there. So let's go ahead and finish that up. Perfect. Just so freaking awesome. Alright, now the snake route is next. Oh, I remember this level too. I don't remember this one being that bad either. All these levels aren't that bad. They're pretty nice, actually. Alright, so let's go ahead and start by going this way first. Unless this is the path to take. And it very well could be, so I'm not going to take that chance. I'm going to start down here first. Just to be sure that I'm not missing anything. Yep, there is a crystal here. Meaning we're going to need to collect four crystals to finish this level. Which is pretty nice. So now that we've gotten all the way down here, we can just start climbing up to the top. And I believe this level is pretty much just that. Climbing all the way up. Alright, so, there's enemies to kill. They're not too shabby. Like, and these robot dudes are pretty nice. There's crystals, there's everything in the world, and we're not worrying about anything because we're pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and press this switch so I can get that freaking crystal, which is nice. Oh, I almost fell there. Oh, that would have been such a bad time. I would have been so upset with myself if I missed that. Oh, God! I did not notice that was even there. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to be careful of that. Alright, wait for that to fall down some more. You going to go down? Alright, I guess not. Well, I guess you just did after I left it, so... Oh, God. Alright, let's go ahead and collect this crystal. And then go! Whew. Alright, let's just keep on moving forward in time, shall we? Alright, this is a- Oh, frickin' where are you, a dive bomber? Get out of here! Oh, jeez! Alright, I guess we're gonna have to keep on- oh, uh, No, no, no! Oh, okay, I didn't die. Whew. Okay, I'd rather that have happened than me dying. Because I would've been kind of upset if I died. Okay, so, let's just keep on moving here. Not getting hit by cogs, not getting hit by anything that could potentially be a threat. Like that. Kill you. Oh my, okay. You know what? That's fine. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, so, oof, okay. Get that. Kill this guy right here. And then go over here and then collect that crystal down there. Okay. Whew, goodness gracious, I'm getting just getting really scared right now. Alright, so there's the crystal. 2800. Is there 3000? Did I miss something? It's 2500. Huh. Okay. That's not bad. Why is it giving me more? I don't even know. But here we go, guys, versus Baruda, the boss of Planet Primus. Let's go ahead and fight this guy, shall we? <laughs> it's 
about time you showed up, Bomberman. I'm Baruda, Big Brother Endall's first pupil. I held million hosses so you'd come. You mean this is a trap? We'll settle this over there. Get ready, Bomberman. Here I come! This is the instance of us having our transformation of when we come into a fight. Alright, so this guy is actually pretty freaking easy. Uh, you're just gonna wanna drop your bombs and just hit him in the face with them. The only problem I have with this boss is that it can be really difficult to figure out where he's going to be when you throw your bombs. Uh, the death perception up here is kind of awful. Like, I'm trying to hit him, and I just died right there. I knew I would die at this level because I only had one life. So, I mean, it's good that I have more health now to actually take him down. Alright, where is he? Right here? Alright, let's go ahead and play some bombs on him, because he's going to die kind of quickly if we just keep up the bomb dropping. And once he gets big like that, it's kind of easy to hit him. So, it's pretty nice. So, when he drops, you drop too. And just keep on... Just be kind of close to him. Because when you throw your bombs, it'll land on him and everything will be okay. I mean, I know I'm taking some unnecessary damage right now. But I mean, it's it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm taking unnecessary damage for no real reason. I said this fight was going to be pretty easy. Alright, now I'm just going to be more cautious. Because I really just don't want to die here. Because that would make me kind of sad. And I mean, it would make me really, really sad. Oh, God! Uh, yeah, I don't want to get involved in that, because that would be really sad! Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Stop. Stop. Alright, there we go. I can hit him. Just keep, just keep on throwing your bombs. Like I said, the death perception up here is kind of bad. Stop moving! I can't hit you when you're moving like that! Oh my god, stop! Yeah, freaking damn it! Yeah, I probably wouldn't have made it anyways. I don't know why this fight is giving me so much trouble right now. This fight's not even that difficult. It's really not. Alright, let's just climb up here and just hit him in the face with bombs. I'm just going to keep on going upwards because... And just try to stay under him as much as I can. How are you getting so close to me, dude? I don't understand. That makes me kind of upset right now. Alright, at least we're getting some damage on him. Pretty quick damage. So, pretty awesome. Alright, let's just keep on hitting him here. I mean, he's taking kind of a lot of damage right now. I don't even know what he's doing, but he can't really do much of anything right now. Alright, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to hit you. Dude, can I please hit you? Dude, what the frick? Let me freaking hit you. Holy crap, I don't know how he keeps on moving when I'm trying to hit him. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, there we go. Just keep on hitting him. I mean, this is my normal tactic for fighting this stupid thing. So, I mean, I don't know. And he's dead! Nice! 6,000? Oh my goodness, that was actually really good. I am not complaining about that. Now the prince is on Kanatia Star. Let's hurry. And there we go, we have finished up Primus. And of course we get our usual rating and see how well we did. And I think we did pretty okay. We got the gold rank for this planet, which is really nice. And now we got a bonus stage to go along with it. So, let's just go ahead and collect everything. Like I mentioned before, when we have these bonus stages, they're not really anything too special. They're just going to give you kind of, like, um, like, bought more bombs, more firepower, and all that good stuff. However, it's not going to really matter because after this episode, or after this, I'm going to end the episode off. And I'm just going to, and once the game resets, obviously everything's going to get defaulted back to one. So, I mean, this kind of means nothing. But I guess it'd be nice to show it off anyway, just show it being completed and everything. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. It's pretty fun, too. 
It's also a good little challenge to see how much you can get, if you can get all of them within a certain time, or I don't even know. But it's just fun to cool complete them, that's all. I believe there's a couple over here, and there's some over there, and we got a perfect. And there we go. And here we go, you guys. Next time on Bomberman Hero, we're going to be starting up Planet 3, Kanatia, starting with the first area. So, with that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more Bomberman Hero.